Uh, okay. Um, it should be fine. Is it my turn? Yeah, you can... Alright. So, yeah, I'd say come slightly closer to my mic. So that people can hear you. Alright, this is, like, so scuffed. Um, but yeah, I'm Ian. Uh, I played Smash, like, fucking ages ago. But, uh, yeah, I'm just chilling now. What's up? And, uh, Tyler, are you there? I am indeed. All right, intro. Uh, my name is Tyler. I do things on here. Yep. Yeah. All right, now that we have the awkward icebreakers that everyone hates out of the way, now we can actually get into Dungeons and Dragons. So, um, everyone had a session zero type thing. So, uh, this is slightly scuffed, but it's fine. Um, if people don't, uh, if, uh, people wouldn't mind, uh, getting into the roll 20. Um, so, I'm trying to think here. Uh, can you send that link again? Yeah, so, go into Acotelius and click the pins and if you don't mind you just mind sending me uh you and alex's characters names again and images you'd like me to use for them uh i didn't have any images uh yeah i know so basically i don't have one either sorry oh i you also work on that i forgot to ask yeah. so basically um in the roll 20 uh, you can do some, you can basically put in name and uh, an image, and when combat happens, you can move those images around to represent your character. Oh, that's cool. I, I uh, might have to save that for next session. Yeah, so I, unless you guys provoke, I, I'd say try to, like, we're not going to get into combat immediately, so what I'd say is try to think about um, or, well, I guess I need to, like, I want to put your names in at least, but think about an image or, like, a placeholder image you'd want to use, and we can change it later. Okay. Permission to use, uh, Spongebob? Uh, sure. <laughs> Spongebob. Yeah, you can, if you really have to, we can, uh... I'm just gonna use generic centaur, uh, by the... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, question, so, you guys can use the same mic, but... Does Alex have a laptop he can use? Yeah, he's, uh, uh, let me, I'm gonna DM him the Roll20 thing. Yeah, please, please do, if, or no, he's in here already, I think. I, uh, I set that up with him. Oh, you added him to this, uh, thing? Uh, oh, add him, the, send him an invite to the Discord if you want. Okay, yeah, no, no, it's cool for now. But, yeah, Merrick... And then, and yeah, Alex, I sent you the thing on Discord. Let's see here. Uh, we'll, we'll get started soon. I'd say this session might be slightly shorter because it's mostly meant as an icebreaker. There might be a little bit of combat, but not much, if any. It's mostly just getting everyone introduced to each other and figuring out character dynamics and all that. There's two Dread Fighters streaming, by the way. Uh, there's two Dread Fighters streaming. There's two right now. Oh, no. That's how you. Dan, there's probably more than just me streaming, so it makes sense. There's there's another one who's doing art right now streaming. Pain. <laughs> I wish I could do art. Oh well, I'm not good at art. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Also, are we thinking of doing this weekly or biweekly? Right? Uh, biweekly probably. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know if we talked about that yet. Cool. So. Nick, uh, once I give you access to your character, you can edit things, so... It's over. <laughs> once he gives it access. Uh, Ian, can you DM me your character name again? Full character name. You got it. Uh, okay, I will save the image. Actually, you can upload your own image, I think, once I give you access. Alright. So... You guys can upload your own images once you guys get access to characters. Mm -hmm. um, I'm planning on having the... Uh, yep. 
All right, let me just change this. So you can uh, save changes. All right, and yep. Everything is almost set up, so everything's mm -hmm. gonna be all set in one second. Take a second. All right, one second. Uh, it has been a second. Uh, stuff is set up. Uh, you can upload your own character image, by the way. You got it. All right. Uh, just go into edit. Oh, there we are. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, if you guys want to uh, change stuff involving characters, uh, go to click on the character that just popped up and click edit. And you can upload your own image you want to use and all that cool stuff. And just adjust stuff. You can also input your own character sheet stuff in there, but we'll go and uh, we can deal with that. Not this session for now. Just use the PDFs every that you made. Uh, uh, okay. Let me know when everyone's ready to start. By the way. Um. How do I, or well, I guess my... I can screen share, by the way, if it makes things easier. So, or I can screen share, just to like show you what to do. So, if you go to, uh, can you see my screen, Nick? Uh, watch screen, yeah. Okay, so, you see my mouse cursor? Uh-huh. Over Hedora, what you can do is go to edit, and you see where it says drop a file from your okay. art library computer or click to upload? That's where you yeah, upload you your image. Okay, cool, cool. And you guys can like feel free to change it out later. Right now it's just placeholders. Uh, wait, it's under Okay, there we go. Never mind. Alright. And yeah, whenever uh, Alex can get around to doing that. He's in the uh the thing right now he no yeah i know he is but like uh, what i mean yeah no i meant whenever he can uh, think of a a picture he wants to use for merrick <laughs> i got a little thing oh geez <laughs> oh boy if he's got his own laptop then he can uh he can like we can yeah or he can just yeah, he'll be able to do all this all his own stuff all right uh are people ready now because I should have... I'm ready. All right. Um, also, um, while we're at it, um, if you want to disable having your mic and stuff play, go to uh, I want to broadcast to others and click nothing and nothing under I want to broadcast to others and I want to receive from others. Is this in Roll20? Yeah. Yes, this is in Roll20. Okay. So... Nick, do you see uh, on my screen? Uh, oh, he uh, muted himself. Uh, where? So is it under settings? Yeah. So do you see the cog? My settings. Scroll to the bottom. Whoops! I accidentally left the game. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry. Even the campaign. Sorry. Oh no, yeah. But um, scroll to the bottom of my settings and. Take I want to broadcast to others and I want to receive from others and change it to nothing. Got it. Nothing. Um, yeah, go to all the way to the bottom. Yeah, all the way to the bottom of it. Nothing. And that's how I uh, tell Alex that too. Yeah, I just had him do it. All right, cool. So, um, do we need that? <laughs> okay, Ian. I just wanted to see how it worked. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So. I'm assuming, are people ready to uh, start the actual uh, session? Yes. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, sorry for the delay. I just wanted to get stuff set up. So, now that we're set up, um, all of you, through various means, have arrived at a bar uh, called The Missing Link. Um, so, I guess we can have uh, Angelo go first, because you see... Um, a half elf performing on a stage. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, do you want to describe your character's appearance? Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, We're doing introductions. So, obviously, he's a half elf. He's got long, flowy hair. Color is kind of hard to see, I would say, in the club right now. But, like, while performing. Uh, he's got a top hat and a robe that seems like it should fit him, but it just quite doesn't. All right. And uh, the other four people uh, are walking through the door at the same time. Uh, if everyone would like to describe their characters and what they look like. Uh, I guess, Nick, we can start with you. Cool, so, uh, my guy is a centaur. Hell yeah. He stands, so it's like the horse part of him is like four feet. And then there's like the torso is, I guess, three feet. So I guess he's about seven feet tall. Um, He's got like crossed on his back, or on his back, two swords with wooden, uh, wooden handles, as well as, uh, a wooden bow slung across him. He's got like a, he's got a completely bald head, but just an absolutely magnificent beard. I mean, this thing is <laughs> turning heads down the street. Uh, it's the same aim, like, uh, it's the right word. It's the same, like, I think auburn brown is the right word. Uh, get, uh, like a tan brown color. Or same color as his fur on his uh, on his hooves. Or hooves. He doesn't have fur on his hooves. That's fur on the horse part of his body, though. And it's that same color. All right. Uh, we'll have Alex go next. All right. So there is he is a uh, loxodon uh which for the uninitiated is an elephant man he oh, is wearing a hat that very clearly was yeah. not made for his large elephant head <laughs> it, it, it was definitely somebody else's at some point and he is wearing uh, a long trench coat but again not many clothes are made for him so it was made to be a long concealing piece of clothing is hanging uh pretty tight on this guy and it's it, it looks more like a vest <laughs> all right uh tyler if you'd like to introduce your character all right so you see a moderately tall uh lady walk in she's got like br reddish brown hair and the same color eyes she's got plate ish she she looks like she has plate on, but she doesn't because mm. she can't afford it. Uh, but she is she looks like she's lost, but she's also having a good time nonetheless. Uh, and right now it she's just kind of hanging out, like casing up the joint, looking for loose change because. That's what she does. Uh, roll an investigation check for loose change. <laughs> let's uh, see how much. Uh, let's see uh, how much loose change you find. Oh wow! Uh, nice job. You find. You actually find. So, um, when you walk in, uh, there's this this ominous looking old dwarf dude. But you're you're thinking more about money right now, so you just randomly find like five gold on the ground. Oh hell yeah. It's like the best place to look for gold, where all the right. junk people are. Yes. So, uh, now, last but not least, the person who is currently at my apartment. You know what? All right. All right. So, uh, you see, she's um, it's like you know, mid to late twenties, uh, a tiefling woman. And she uh, she walks in. She's um, about you know, uh, five foot seven, uh, you know, average height. She has a it's like really gray, ashy skin, uh, you know, teetering between like a really light gray and then um, up a more like darker complexion and just really bright red hair. And yeah, she walks in, she like seems really on edge for no particular reason. Um, but that's just, 
that you can kind of tell that it's how she is usually around people, uh, although she tries to be charismatic, but ultimately is uh, not all that successful. So. Mm. All right, so um, that out of the way, um, Angelo's character, um, it, who everyone doesn't know his name yet, is just about wrapping up his performance for now. Uh, you're getting about uh, five gold for performing, by the way. Woohoo! So, everyone else is walking up to this old, bald uh, dwarf man with a very long, bushy, uh, gray beard. Or, you just kind of notice him, because uh, some of you kind of got a tip that this guy has some pretty good information about some uh, some things you might be interested in. What's up, guy? Oh, hello there. I'm, Why? I'm here. I'm here on some business. Uh, heard anything about these cogs? Cogs, you say? Hmm. Yes, I could say that I have. And he looks like he, uh... Wait, what are cogs here? Oh, wait, yes, that's what they are. He kind of looks like a senile old man who looks like he's still physically there, but he has a few screws loose. Makes sense, makes sense. So, uh, I am uh, Thorok. What is your name? The name's Lana. You might have heard of me and my family's business empire. Ah, yes, I've seen about at least ten people who've looked like you. Yep, those are all my cousins. Yes. But now, but now you know one more. Yes, so that'll be eleven. Good to know. All right. Uh, it sounds really good at math. Uh, what do you say, Nick? I said, damn, this guy's really good at math. <laughs> 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 all right so he's just got and who is everyone else and uh yes who are you people and he's calling me Hodor oh Hodor I uh I neglected to say before but uh the elephant boy is missing one of his uh, tusks, uh, and uh, he uh, types up and he says, uh, "My name is Merrick." <laughs> That's such a good image, by the way. I just noticed that. That's so good. <laughs> That's such a good image. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. This one. That's 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 really good. Nice job. All right. All right. So, um, yes. Uh, Merrick, uh, Hador, uh, who's the uh, the tiefling woman? Uh, the name's Mav. Mav. Uh, yes. Nice to meet you. Uh, you as well. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Brandon. How much for, for uh, how much for a beer? Oh, um, so you see a waiter uh, nearby, and uh, or, uh, Thorak kind of says, Hey, uh, get, uh, get a cold one on me. And he flips him a gold. We can chat over drinks. Well, it's certainly appreciated. Thank you. Of course. So, um, also, uh, Angelo, uh, your character is kind of intrigued by this charismatic, senile old man, old dwarf man. If you want to go check him out with everyone else, this looks like a rather interesting party. Take a look. All right, so he kind of like takes out a poster and he says. All right, so we're not being, we might be being watched. So we're going to go 
to the secret, he whispers, to the secret back of this bar. So follow me. I follow the man. Uh, does everyone follow him into the back? I do, but I follow him. Right, 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 I was quiet and he's my popping pope, so let. All right. I'm just going to go back normally, like it's nothing. Okay. Like, any, like anybody who's looking Starbucks at me, I notice where I'm going. My character is a little sussy, uh, but, uh. Uh, but she follows. Okay. My character, rather intrigued, goes to follow as well. All right. So everyone gets in, and then uh, Thorak kind of like points to uh, your character as well. It's like, uh, yes. What is uh, what is uh, wait? What is your name? I didn't see you in the other room. Oh, forgive me. I was intrigued by your uh, conversation and grouping here. My name is Thelonious Cunningham. I was the magician just on uh, magician, excuse me, musician on stage. Ah, uh, yes, you uh, did a pretty good job. Uh, here, Thank my you. here's here my treat, and he tosses you uh, two gold. Oh, that's very kind of you. I appreciate that. No problem. All right, so I bet you're all wondering why I called people here. So maybe a few of you came in here by chance, aka the D uh, off topic the DM having to get everyone in the same place at once. Anyways, <laughs> yes. So there's been rumors about uh, a impending cog menace. Are any? So. Oh, uh, go on. Uh, go on. Oh. Yes. So, let me ask, are any of you cog hunters? Uh, I might be. And Merrick raises his hand. I'm uh, a recently licensed cog hunter. It's a, it's a sign. I'm unlicensed. Uh, oh yeah, um, Alex, you would have a class E license. A uh, class E hunting license. A classy yeah. license? Yeah, because um, with that guy, you went uh, cog hunting, if I remember right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so... I had a, me and the green snapper. That guy, yes. So, you have uh, that license, and you also have a basic understanding of the cog language. But anyways, um, so, he just kind of like, he takes out a map which I still need to finish. Uh, yes, so... We're here in Cremode... Crem bleh. We're here in Cremodia. And rumor has it that uh, to the north of here, there's an abandoned village by the name of, by the name of Noma. And he kind of points the map. Currently, this is Coda. I've heard rumors that there's going to be a stage meeting there between some people dealing in some illegal uh, substances, but I don't know what they are or what it is. And I I can't go to the uh, the Hunter's Guild because I don't know for sure if there are any cogs there, so I'm looking for outside help. I, um, if there will be uh, cogs present, it uh, falls within my job description. I didn't even know you need a license to hunt them. I've been doing it for free. Oh. Yeah, so um, you can essentially, if you uh, show evidence of uh, cog hunting, or you apply for a license, uh, you can get some benefits. So uh, look into that on your own time, I would say. It's like Hunter x Hunter. Yeah, that's actually kind of where I got the inspiration toward for this whole class uh, licensing system. Badass. Anyways, he kind of, he kind of like, he scratches his beard, and he says, Alright, so, 
I am willing to offer you all uh, about 70 gold each if you can get this done for me. You know exactly what it would uh, contain? Money. I'd like to try to haggle with the man. Okay. Um, uh, how do you want to haggle with 70 him? 70 gold's pretty good, but, you know, for my time, I I need just a little bit more. I got... I got some things I'm trying to do within a certain time frame. Mm. You know. All right. What what is your price? Uh, hundred gold. Roll a persuasion, or I would say try to explain why you deserve a hundred gold instead of seventy. Yeah, sell like the haggle. Just, like specifically, or just. Yeah, try to sell yourself to this uh, this guy you've never met. See, I'm I'm trying to earn Man. enough money to. Uh, God, I fucking took you long. What? What? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, please. See, I'm see, I'm trying to earn enough money so I can pass on the family lineage of relics it's very it's a very important it's a very important tradition in my family and i i have to have it done by a certain time hmm i see uh i would say a roll persuasion check but with advantage because he seems kind of intrigued with you sick oh my all right Make me feel like a winner. I'll give you 95 gold. Mm. You drive a hard bargain, sir. But 95 gold should make it worth my time. Thank All you right. very, very much for for listening to my story and helping me yeah. uh, achieve my family tradition. All right. Oh, uh, you know, I just, I want, I don't want to just give it to you. So everyone, you would get uh, 95 instead of 70. I'll take that. Thank you. I'm certainly not complaining. Well, you can. Well, you can. Uh, you can thank the lady uh, with the uh, the red hair here. Anyways, uh, I would say that you might want to uh, look around for transportation. I'd say the best place around here. Uh, there's a magic-powered bus. <laughs> Does it happen to be a magic-powered uh, school bus, by any chance? Sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Stay so. boats, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... What you'll see is uh, it's... You see, I own a, a bus, a magic bus company called uh, Thorax Bus uh, Bus Bashery. Uh, we do not actually bash cars. It's just uh, or anything. It, they just uh, you know. Uh, That's a very misleading title. Yes. That's just a side business. It's yes. Uh, it's just a side business. Um, I didn't come up with a name, but it kind of just stuck. Anyways. Uh, I will give you all the night to prepare, but in the morning, I will have a bus prepared for you all. Sounds good. All right. So I would say that everyone, uh, you're going to have the rest of the day. I'd say it's around five at this point. Uh, you got the rest of the day to do whatever you want around Coda, which is uh, a description of Coda. Um, you can also refer to Lore Doc um, for the description of the country as a whole. But basically, this is one of the prime cities of Cremodia, uh, which is a nation that has a blend of science and technology uh, based, um, like, like based science as well as magic based science and. Typically, they don't. They're pretty lenient towards whatever people prefer, or they're like what they practice in terms of magic. So, 
They do based science. Yes, <laughs> based science. Science based on what? Yes, science based on something, but science that is science. <laughs> They don't do. They don't practice cringe here. Uh, anyways, um, Sorry. no, it's fine. Uh, what would everyone like to do? Is there I, any? Uh, I'm I'm taking a list for bulk supplies that we need. I'm going to go purchase some bulk supplies. Bulk supplies, okay. Um, what, what does th everybody need? That's bulk. Um, I wouldn't even know where to begin with that. So I think I'm just going to try. <laughs> I'm going to offer to come with. All right, so uh, does Hedora want to go with uh, Lana? Yeah. I was going to actually ask about the whole gun situation. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do indeed have a gun. I don't think we... Yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to whoa. use it. Three, though, okay? So here, no one gives a shit about if you use a gun for anything. <laughs> In general, you can probably... It is like... Okay, it's a magic-powered gun. Yeah. Or you can kind of, like, flip... You can, like, either use, like... I would say you can kind of use bullets, or you can... Uh, I'll, I'll give you a stat block in a bit, but you can either, like... You can flavor it to um, be legal for whatever environment you're in. Oh, shit, sweet. So you're not going to have to worry about not having a weapon or anything yeah. like that. That would be kind of uh, kind of weird. Buy some ammunition or something anyway? Uh, around here, yeah, I think you would be able to. Do you want to go with the people going towards the marketplace in town to look for stuff? Yeah, if this is going to be the new party. Might as well get acquainted. All right. I'll join in too, I guess. All right, uh, Angelo, what are you doing? I can't really think of anything else to do, so I shall accompany. All right, everyone goes to the marketplace. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's do the first group skill check in the campaign. Everyone roll a perception Whoa. check. Skill check, you say? Perception check, yes. Oh, boy. Oh, baby. Perception. I'm gonna roll. <laughs> oh, sh Ooh, nat 20, 11. How do I uh, roll with modifiers? Um, oh, so. Uh, the, 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 the modifier. So, so you see, you know the dice thing I showed you guys? Yeah, um, yeah if, you, if you click on this, if you like, click on it, it'll jump. Mm -hmm. uh, if you click on this. Uh, oh wait! Oops, that's not the right one to click on. Yeah. <laughs> no wait. Yeah, you can add the modifier in right there. Okay, cool. You can also go into your character sheet and then just click. I didn't mean to roll that skill one. check that you need to do, and it'll automatically apply the it's modifier. Fine. That's what I do. Did my did my roll come through? Uh, yes, I see it. Uh, we can. I can show after the session. We can show oh, people. I my rolls. Also, oh, you can do slash r d twenty plus. Or mind just your modifier in the chat log. I love how the rolls going down. It's just 19, 18, 17. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, these are really high rolls. Mine was Wait, 11. I accidentally did 19, 19, 22. Uh, 22. Uh, 22. Okay. Uh, so, everyone in order, read what they got if you don't mind. 19. Okay. Okay. Nick got a 19. Alex, what did you get? I got a 16. Uh, Angelo, you? I got a 15 with a 4 modifier, so 19. Okay. Uh, Tyler? I got a nat 20, so 23. Yep, you did very well for yourself, Anian. Uh, 11. Alright, so overall... I just threw it home at the market. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah you, you, you're you. really good at... That like, market's it's... being perceived. So, you happen to see uh, one of your cousins here. Oh my god. Is it, is it one of the traveling ones? Yes. You see a traveling. Lana, you see a long time no see. Oh hi, hey Lana, how's it going? Uh, it's pretty good. I'm just uh, doing some business here. What are you doing here? You stopping for a rest before you make your move on to the next city? Yeah, I was gonna. I was just about to uh, set up shop for the rest of the day and then uh, go to the next one. Awesome. Hey, by the way, we're looking for some bulk supplies. You wouldn't still happen to still have some, would you? 
Oh, yeah, I've got, I was about to set up, but I got some food and a few other things if you guys need it. Awesome, thank you. So, alright, so how much gold do people have? I have seven. I think my starting was 20. Uh, oh, wait, are we talking starting? Uh, starting, pl zero. starting plus, like, the total amount of gold you have now. Where do I find my starting? Um, you should have, like, 17 total gold right now, I think. Me specifically? Or yes, you specifically. I think you start with 10 from Criminal Spy. Criminal Spy? Holy shit, no. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, I'll have 17, I guess, so that means. Yeah. I've got 74. Oh, yes, what? yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, what? She's a, <laughs> she's a businesswoman. She has a lot of connections she's loaded bro yeah it's, so. it's hard it's hard to know because we started out my campaign uh with me broke because i was a slave dang that's deep oh, lucky, i guess <laughs> all right yeah I, I would say that you at least have 10 gold right now alex all right we're all right. Been hunting yeah you've been hunting anyways so uh she takes out about uh, 20 rations. Ooh. Uh, uh alright. How much do you want to pay for these? She's kind of like staring at you, waiting for you to give a price. It's an old strategy. Try to get... you. So, I'm not even going to have you do an insight check, because you know this, because you used this tactic yourself. Common strategy, get them to potentially uh, name your price first and then uh, get them to pay more than uh, what the actual price is. And keep in mind, she's a very good haggler. Oh, she is. She's very good. Oh. Huh. Uh, would anyone like to name a price for 20 rations? Uh... 20, ra like, rations of food? Or? Yeah, 20, basically it's, like, enough food for, like, a meal, or just, like, to last you a day, basically. Is okay. it the price we're offering for one? Uh, for, for, 20 for, for 20 of them. Yeah, for, all, for all of them. She's selling them in bulk. All of us. Yes, so she has, mul you look around, she has uh, a f multiple packs of yeah. 20. Would it, would we know the like market value for this or no? Um, I would say make a history check, but I would say uh, Lana can do it with advantage. We're, we're in the market. Wouldn't we just be able to look at? Um. Prices? Okay. So, I would say who in particular wants to like make an investigation check in the near? I would say like. I would since, since she's my cousin, would I just know what we normally sell it? For? Oh, okay. You would know. You would. Okay, so you would know that it's usually about. Uh, 10 gold uh, per 20. All right. Uh, we're, we'll, we'll just take it for, for 10 gold. None of, none of the haggling. Oh. We're, 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 we're a little bit tired from, uh, from, from some earlier business. So we, we, we'd like to get some, uh, our shopping out of the way and then go rest so we can be fully prepared for tomorrow oh okay that's that's fine um do you want more than just the one uh i've bought all of my rations so everybody else can go and would uh, anyone like to uh, split the cost down a piece for uh, 10 gold or five gold uh, i'll uh, throw in for half so wait so what's her if i wanted to haggle for some reason <laughs> you if i did <laughs> You could, if you could, yeah. like, so, like, what you could do is you could, I would say that a few people are buying, uh, how many are you guys getting? Like, just one? I yeah, I'll buy. Pack to split amongst the five of us. All right, so, Angelo, what you could do is you could try to haggle for another one. Like, a buy one, get one free. <laughs> you could try, like, try your best to get a discount if you want. What does that go off of? Try to convince her why you should get a discount. Why I should get a discount? Okay. Yes, so she's going to look at you and she says, you're staring at another one of my rations. 
Are you interested? Yeah, I was wondering if I happened to get one, if there was a chance that maybe you could get a, you know, like a buy one, get one free type of special. I mean, we uh, do have your cousin along with us. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to say roll a persuasion check, but since you're asking Alana to sell something for free, it's going to be a disadvantage. Wait, what? They don't look... So, she's like, free... She kind of her eyebrows kind of like raised when you ask her buy one get one free. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. So, so like, persuasion check plus a d twenty, yeah. Yeah, so a disadvantage. You roll it twice, and we take the lower roll. So I roll twice. Okay. Yes. All right, that's fine. And then another one. Yes. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll sell you the second one for eight gold. Buy one, get 20% off the second one. Is there perhaps a compromise we can make with that? Hmm. What do you want to pay for the second one? I was thinking maybe... Oh, I don't know, five? Hmm. I'd say roll another persuasion check, but this time not at disadvantage. Okay, that's fair. So I just roll one? Yeah, just one. Okay. Uh, six, and we call it a deal. Hmm. All right. All right. And Glad you're doing business with you. She uh, shakes your hand, and you guys have uh, spent 16 gold on 40 rations, so you guys can take eight rations each. Mm-hmm. So how does that does that just split apart the cost of? So sixteen divided by five. Yeah. So one person can take. One person pays four. The other the others pay three. I'll pay the four. I've got plenty. Okay. I lost three. All right. So yeah, everyone just subtract that and add eight rations to your inventory. Eight rations. That's a lot of right. rations. That's a couple days. Yeah. That's that's a. Yeah. How much was it that we're all pay- we're splitting this evenly, right? Yeah, so sixteen gold for forty rations. Uh, you would pay three. Three gotcha. Yeah. So I don't do that. All right. It's my uh, minus. And my Merrick case. said that. Um, Alex, you said Merrick wanted to find ammo, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, do you want to see convince someone in the group or your entire group to just kind of look for you? Sorry, did I accidentally just roll? Oh, no, that's fine. Everyone feel free to, like, put in Lander character sheet information. have a small stock of ammo. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. The, the one that's, like, trying to sell stuff. Oh, no, yeah, she probably... Actually, yeah, she probably would. Especially considering this is, uh, Cremodia. Uh, it makes sense. Also, uh... What what uh what what type of gun uh do I have? Because there's a bunch of different. Uh okay. Let's see what the green snapper was packing. So... You said it was eight rations, right? Eight rations per person. Okay. Forty divided by five. Right. I already started with five, so I'll have a little bit more. Let's go. Yeah. No. The point was everyone has a lot of rations. Okay. So that goes up to thirteen. Now. Um. So. And then does that mean it's. 26 pounds? So... Are we not worrying about weight? Uh... We're not... No, no one cares about weight. If I had to, like, actually care about weight, I think my brain would explode. So we are not doing weight. The amount of times that weight actually matters is so small. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, you want to take this, like, 50-pound table from a dungeon. Good luck, right? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, yeah. It's don't the, you just kind of get, like, so, a bag of holding and don't have to worry about it? Uh, true. So... Um, let's see. Maybe not always, but... Um, Alex, I forgot to send you... Or, I basically... I'm sending you something that will help you. Um, I'll tell you what type of gun it is in a sec... Just give me one second. Troll D. Oh. oh. I'll just add, I'll send in a DM chat, or a group chat. 
Uh, Where's my uh, gold on the thing that I have to minus? Or... Um, so you on your... Sh um, we're gonna get to that. But in terms of your... Uh, trying to think. Uh, lodging can be in a bit. Uh, Alex, just kind of... I would say that for now, you would probably just have a blunderbuss... Unless you want a one-handed uh, firearm, that's 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 cool for now. All right, so you got you got a green colored blunderbuss. Fuck yeah! Except it's okay. in it's kind of in the shape instead of like normally it's kind of in the shape of like a a green piranha. A green piranha. Yeah, it's kind of like the the head of the gun. That fires ammo is kind of in the shape of a green piranha. That looks like it's That's about to like. Cool. That looks like it's gonna snap its fangs down at any second. Bye. So uh, I don't know if I can pay for the. I don't know if I can pay for the ammo though. Uh, the gum is, or you already have the gum, so. No, I think the cost fifty gold pieces is the cost of weapon, not ammo. I think. Right? Yeah, no, that's the cost of the weapon. You already had the weapon. Oh, the ammo is fucking two gold. Shit, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah! Oh no, no, it's not. It's five gold. It's still fuck yeah. It's five. Yeah, it's five goals for uh, blood shots. So I can afford it's, that. It's five silver pieces or two gold. So, uh, do you want to kind of ask uh, the the uh, Lana, the traveling Lana, what uh, or if you can get ammo? Uh. uh any ammunitions for a firearm, possible? Oh, I got about uh, 25 bullets. Uh, I would uh, gladly take it. For what price? Uh, so let's see. About five bullets will run you about two gold pieces, so that'll be about ten gold pieces. Oh, I, uh, I'm afraid that I, uh, I can't uh, afford quite that much, uh... Could I buy half at a cheap, at a lessened price? Hmm. Uh. I'd say roll a persuasion check to see if you if you could potentially buy more for less because you're buying a lot at once. Right on. Holy yeah. shit. Nat Sheesh. Sheesh. Not 20, baby. All right. We're rolling good tonight. All right. So how much gold do you have on you? Seven gold. I'll give you the you're you're buying a lot of ammo. I'll I'll just give it to you for whatever you have on you. I, I appreciate the generosity. Well you're uh, this has been sitting around for a while, so rather Make some money off it and probably break even. So you have twenty five lead shots. Ooh. So, um, is there anything else you guys want to do around the marketplace before you potentially uh, turn in for the night? Is there uh, no. anything else that could be useful? Yeah, what kind of like shops or like things are being offered around there? So, I would say, is there anything specific you guys are looking for? Or do you just want to, let's say, spend like some an hour just looking around? I'd like to peruse. All right. I would say, um, to see how good you guys are at observing things, let's do another group perception check over the next hour. Ooh. Ah, uh, okay. Not great. Hello. Oh yeah, I'm looking. Um, yeah. Did everyone has everyone rolled yet? Or I think three people still need to roll. 
uh, for perception. Uh, sorry, I was adding things to my character sheet. What are we rolling? Uh, perception. Yeah, we can, um, if people don't mind helping out other people who want to potentially put stuff in their character sheet. This, this is a group yeah, perception? 18. Yeah, it's group. Yeah. It's group. No. Holy shit. Yo, what's with these <laughs> rolls? What the <laughs> fuck, Tyler? That's another That's natural I 20. Market. And then, Sorry. yeah, and then I'm Alex in just... My zone, and right then now. Alex just rolled a nat 20 earlier. That's kind of crazy. All right. You guys are rolling hot. Let's hope you don't burn it all up whenever combat happens. Anyways. Um, yeah, 16. Yeah, so overall... I don't do, like, to do a roll. So, share... Like, I'm going to roll for perception. So, um... Perception. It's just like and roll something or whatever. Yeah, so like when you put in the modifiers, like it does it automatically for you in the character sheet. But um, I'll share my screen for a sec. So your modifier is plus one, right? I'll let you keep it roll anyways. But you see how I have I clicked on the dice. Mm -hmm. I have my D twenty, and then next to it there's a plus. And there's one. So if I want to do D20 plus my modifier of one, and I rolled like a 12, uh, then that's, that's how I do that. Like, that's how okay, you do yeah, that. But I ha so I have my stats in, so how do I do it? Like Oh, you just click on it. You yeah, you just click the, uh, the stat check. Yeah, just okay. click on perception. Like the word perception. I'll, I'll let you keep your roll, but yeah, we can... Uh, just click on the word perception. We can uh, figure out how to get everyone to have okay, their I stuff in there. Uh, uh, but uh, I got an uh, 18 because my perception is 30. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but you know what to do now, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, I can see. Cool. So you got, okay, yeah, so you have, overall, I'd say you guys find a few things. One, All right. uh, you find, you happen to wander by a juggler. Um, if you see an arm wrestling stall um, in terms of entertainment that's going on. If you guys, uh, I'd say roll an investigation for that, investigation check for that, Tyler. Um, Everyone or just Tyler? Just Tyler. Okay. You find four, you find about like three gold on the ground. Three Yo. gold? Shit. You're act, I would say that like, you probably, because you're looking for golds, Normally, if you're looking for gold, it would make it harder for you to, like, perceive, like, have a higher DC for perception, but you roll the, you roll a D20. Like, a natural 20, so. I would allow it, Ian. Yeah. But, uh, you rolled a 17. I, I can just, I can just I spot you, and then you can pay me back later if you need. Oh, no, I'm just greedy. Oh, hey, Jason's here, I think. <laughs> here. Uh... Can I get the door? Uh, can you get the door? I got the door. Thanks. Oh, All right. So I can continue this? Yeah. All right. So um, what's going on is that uh, does anyone want to, before I get into the shops, does anyone want to do anything with the juggler or the arm wrestling guy? He's what, a burly. Can I do with the juggler? Uh, so the juggler is just kind of there. He's uh, juggling uh, flaming chainsaws. Ooh. And he looks like he's deep in concentration. Yes, chainsaws. Flaming chainsaws? Chainsaws! Yeah, like, you know, chainsaws. chainsaws. You, heard, you heard flaming cheese sauce. And then the second time I heard bean sauce, I was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> no, chainsaws is in a chainsaw. That's gonna blow a motor. What's up, Tommy? Hey, I'm streaming Dungeons and Dragons. Merrick's also going to be floored by something like that. <laughs> All right. So, so what do you guys do with the 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 flaming chainsaw juggler? Well, let's think about it this way, guys. If we distract him, there's a potential he could drop one and set fire to the marketplace. Just like, what's why would we want that? There's a the juggler Wait, is. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> put your headphones back, and you'll you'll figure yeah, it out. Okay. So. So, I don't know if it's just me, but it's probably best to leave him alone, maybe? I mean, if you want, you could try to talk to him, but you might... 
Someone, what does the arm someone. wrestling guy do? Is this like is this like one of those tavern swindlers? Like Who knows? Check? You would have to insight check him probably. Because mm. you you got to get a read on him. Who has uh? Anyone have any good strength to potentially challenge him for gold? I, 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 got, I, I got good strength. strength. I have an eight in strength. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but are people just gonna leave the flaming chainsaw guy alone? I guess so. I'm up if we're on to the arm wrestle guy. All right. I'm not interested in flaming chainsaws. Uh, the M Merrick's still gonna be looking at the flaming chainsaws. He's impressed by it. Yeah. So I also can share Ooh. that. Thought. Yeah. If if you want to admire the uh, the chainsaw uh, flaming chainsaw guy, um, he's uh, a um, orc who's elegantly juggling chainsaws that are on fire, and he is somehow not dead, which is honestly very impressive. I was trying to seem like a modern sound. Uh, do you want to toss him any gold? Because oh, he is he is a hat out but, for uh, tips. But I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what about you, Angelo? Do you want to tip him or no? I'm nasty. I'm so bad at capture. Um... Dude, I cannot use you. I'm gonna hold on to my gold for a little All right. So, um, so he kind of like he he takes a second and like a millisecond to stare at you. He says, "Ah, hey, you like what you see, yeah?" Yes, yeah, like. And that's all he says before he goes back to uh, being it's just more crazy. Yeah, I feel. So, never seen such talented feats. I'm tempted to ask him to teach me, but I know that's dangerous, so I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, probably not a good idea. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, it would help me. Alright, so... Um, in terms of the arm wrestling guy, uh, someone could make an insight check on him, if they want. Who has the best insight in the group? Uh, probably. I mean, we, more than one person can make insights. Yeah, no, so I would say one point. person, but if someone's proficient in it, they can assist. Uh, I have a proficiency so I'll assist, so get someone to benefit. Great All insight. Right. I have a plus three as well. Um, okay. I would say who's actually going to challenge the person? I will not, but I'll uh, assist whoever. I want to challenge him. Okay, so I'd say. I have proficiency. Ian's gonna assist Nick. So Nick, roll with advantage on insight. Uh, I'm gonna take the first one. So you rolled a 19. Hmm. Uh, Tyler, I didn't ask you to roll, but you can't really tell anything, anyways. Um, yeah. So uh, Nick. You notice this guy, he seems kind of shady. He has a robotic left eye, and he has a very comically small top hat. Wanna investigate the top hat? Alright, roll, uh, investigate. <laughs> roll, <laughs> investigate. I'm not hat. assisting this one. Alright, roll, roll an insight to analyze his top hat. Investigate the hat. Invest, or investigation, yeah. Is, is your, uh, is... Is it the... I, I don't fucking know. Whatever. This There's one... 13. 13. Or What's your Plus investigation number. modifier? 16. Uh, wait, was that investigation? Yeah, we can keep the Oh, that's just plus zero. Is oh, so 10. It's... Huh? The top hat looks cheaply made. I need to play melee with Jerry. How does that compare to, uh... Um, to Merrick's top hat. I'm gonna die. Uh, first of all, it's a lot smaller. Uh, second of all, uh, Merrick's top hat, it looks like, aside from a few uh, tears in it, Merrick's top hat looks way better. This one all looks right, like... Uh, I'll sit down, but I'm gonna keep my eye on this motherfucker's top hat. <laughs> okay. So... so well, actually, I, will not, I won't be sitting, because... Uh, I have four, uh, they don't make chairs for four-legged people. Okay. <laughs> problem in society. Are you walking on, like, two legs, or are you walking on all four? 
Like, are you humanoid? No, I'm, I'm walking on all fours, but if I was wearing pants, they'd only cover two. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. So, it's like an orc, like, with the top hat, and he's just kind of serious. Oh, you feeling tough today, buddy? My name's... I just wanted to try my hand against yours. What's your name, son? I'm Jarbo the Tough. You call me Hodor the Stonehoof. Oh, nice one. Did your mom give that to you? <laughs> Only the middle name. I see. Well... You gonna you gonna oh, stare you gonna stare at my hat or are we gonna are we gonna wrestle our arms? Alright, I'll slowly take my eyes off his hat. I'm gonna glance back every now and then, and I'm gonna take I'm gonna put my arm on the table. All right. So how this is gonna work is we're gonna have a uh, contested. Um, we're gonna have a best of five uh, d twenties uh, athletics checks. Contested Yo. between you and uh, uh, Jarbo. So roll uh, at, for athletics, and he's going to roll against you to see uh, who's superior arm wrestling. All right. Uh, also, that's with uh, not advantage. How do I take off advantage? Um, so I'm trying to think. Tyler, do you mind explaining it's, it? It's advantage toggle. So when you go into your character sheet, you see the little gear? Yeah, oh, uh, he might not have the gear. I can f fix it for him. His gear is on like, certain parts of it. So next to core, bio, and spells, you see the gear? Core, bio, and spells, yes. So click that, and in the third column, when it, uh, under role queries, you should... It says always roll advantage. Change that to advantage toggle. Advantage toggle. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, let me know when you have that uh, figured out, because this is also getting stuff figured out with session one. Um, yeah, I got that figured out. So my first one, I still didn't do too well, though. Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it. Unfortunately, uh, he's looking like he's pulling away with it, and he's just kind of you got to let's just we're gonna flavor it as he got a bit too distracted by his top hat. Uh, do you want to roll? Uh, do you want to roll investigation to see if anything changes about his top hat? Yeah, I'll I'll see if there's anything uh, fucky with his arm. Okay, I would say. Yeah, I'd say insight. See if there's something amiss. Well, 13. He has this weird swirl, uh, whirlpool, uh, tattoo on his arm. But it doesn't look to be giving him any additional strength at a glance. Mm. Alright. Um, roll another athletics check against his. Oof, I'm not doing good. I got, no, I got ten. Uh, so, or, or you got a seven. So, you're both kind of weak, but he, uh... Wait, is the, is the number that it shows what I got total, or what I got on the die? Uh, it's, it's total. Like you hover over the oh, number, okay. it'll tell you. Um, do you have proficiency in, uh... So, are you proficient in athletics? Nope. Okay, never mind then. So, yeah, he looks like he's having a fun time, uh, outdoing you. Before uh, this next roll, can I attempt to distract the man? I would say sure, you can. Um, I'm trying to think what of, of go, what you... What would that be under? Wait, would I be better at that? Because um, of my performance or persuasion or something? I would oh. say performance, but if like if someone is... Five in it. If you're proficient, you could assist in distracting. Yeah, I have a plus five in performance. I could help. Oh, actually... Mm. So, Tyler, are you, uh, 
So I'm trying to think. So you could either have Tyler roll with advantage, or you could See, roll. I, w I was thinking uh, intimidation. Ooh. Oh, so, I have a plus four in that too. So what if we just, like split it up? So like, I, I do an intimidation, and then you do performance. Uh, okay. Okay. How do we do that? So I would say that I'm going to say that you both try to make different strategic attempts to distract him, but I'm going to take the average of both of your rolls for what you're respectively doing. Uh, sound good? So I roll for performance and he rolls for intimidation? Yes. Yes. Okay. I will right. allow it, but describe what you do. Mm. Because it will be funny. Sure. After you roll it, of course. So I do... Oh, okay, after I roll? Okay. Yeah, I'd say roll first, and then mm -hmm. describe what happens based on how well you roll. You do pretty... It's pretty decent. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you can describe... Or, yeah, I guess Tyler, yeah, sure. roll um, for intimidation. Alright, so... I'm gonna, like, walk over to the table, like... Like a chess hustler, and just be like... You ain't got nothing, sister. You got. Listen, this man has been uh, around the world, beating, beating everybody. You ain't got a chance, Buster. Actually, it's only the third town I've been to after I left the temple. And I'm gonna use my commanding presence uh, to add a d6 to my my uh, roll. You have me the water thing from the bridge, please. Yeah. Okay. So you add a d6. Okay. So 14. So 14. I'd say you both do about the same, uh, pretty close to the, like the same amount of success. You guess yeah. 15 and 14. So, uh, Angelo, do you just kind of like want to distract through singing or playing uh, one of your instruments? Yeah, of course. Okay. You should start screaming at the top of your lungs. <laughs> Just start fucking yelling. Throat singing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, you kind of sing however you sing. Orc. And, uh, yeah, this is an orc with. So beautiful. Curly it's mustache. So. Yeah. So, I'm going to say that he rolls. A, um, I'm going to say he rolls concentration. To try to stay concentrated on the match. Let's see how right. it goes. He rolls a nat one, so I'm going to say I'm going to say he oh is dis I'm going to say he's distracted and rolls with disadvantage for the next two rounds. Yo, hell Appreciate yeah. the assist. So if I didn't, if he didn't roll a nat oh. one, I was only going to do it one, but he rolled a nat one. So, and you guys rolled way better than he did anyway. So. Uh, Nick, roll again. You can't tell me what to do. Rolls anyway. Hell yeah. Alright, so you actually barely beat him. He rolled well, Ooh. even with disadvantage. But Damn. he really is pissed off that you are starting to gain some ground. Jeez. Roll again. Hell yeah, I crit. Yo! Yo. Okay, so you're doing really good now. He is flustered. Um, he looks like he's turning red a little bit, like with anger. And you are making a really sick comeback. And your attack, your top hat hold cannot save you now. Yeah, he looks even more angry. And you notice that a crowd is starting to gather a little bit. And they're like, "Wait, someone's beating Jarbo the tough in arm wrestling? Real shit." There's just some random dude who goes real, who basically just says what I said. Can they, uh, can they try to help me out again? Uh, so, I would say, hmm, I would say that, like, only... It's technically continuous, right? Yeah, so, I would say that he kind of takes his other arm, and he snaps a finger, and you notice that there's a halfling bard 
with a banjo who is now going to try to distract you. Oh. <laughs> Damn, he's got, he's got a fucking doppelganger for you. <laughs> Alright, so, Nick, before anything, roll a concentration Wait. check for... Er, oh, okay. I was going to say something. Or er, save. Gonna... Concentration save. Oh, yeah. But yes, you guys can what try to do it. Wisdom? Or, or probably, or I guess, yeah, wisdom saving throw. Um, I would say that you guys can also attempt to distract him, but... Can I have a performance competition with the other bard? Oh, actually, do you want to have, like, a performance off <laughs> while they're <laughs> on wrestling? But that'd be sick. Yeah. I, I'll allow yeah. it. Yeah. Sure. Great idea. I'll, Great idea. How about, can yeah, I, so... Can I talk to him before it, though, so I can kind of give him my idea of what I'm thinking about? Yeah, so you can communicate with twelve on the to stay to pay attention. By the way, so we're gonna see uh, what the performance check is from that sure. bar. I have to roll for performance, right? Yeah, so I'm going to say that unless he also yeah. is distracted, you're probably gonna have to roll a disadvantage for this round because Does that leave me free to, oh, to to shit talk. Yeah, you can shit talk. So do I roll now? Yeah, roll. Okay. Well, I wonder. Or actually, how about? Yeah. So yeah, okay, roll roll for performance. I would say. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not looking good. You kind of you got distracted because you haven't really seen too many banjo players. Yeah, no one plays that dog shit character. All right. What? What's the matter? You need you need some outside assistance, poor sportsmanship, buddy. <laughs> hey, you're the ones who started it first. Get out of get out of get out of here. I'd say you don't re yeah, I'd say he's just I, I more he hands up and do like a little fade back. Yeah, he's just he's just really pissed off. Like he is basically he is he's uh, a tilted uh, elite Smash player at this point. Like, he is really pissed off. There's no return. Yeah. Point of no return. So. Can I try to distract the bard itself to make him stop? Uh, I'd say it's probably too late at this point. The whole cycle. Because okay. I would say now, uh, Nick, roll with disadvantage against this guy, and we'll see what happens. All right. Wow. Let's go. Holy shit. Let's fucking go. Nick. Uh-oh, what do you get? You got a 21. Oh, no. If you didn't have the disadvantage, you yeah, won. Oh. Pain. It happens. All right, so. No, that banjo was really good. I can't be too yeah, upset. Yeah. So, oh, you lose. I've heard some really good music tonight. And he stares at you, and he is extremely red with anger. And even though he won, he just storms off, and he the box that we're using on it, he just kind of like throws it at a building, and it expl oh. and it like bursts into pieces, mm -hmm. and he starts causing property damage. But he forgot to. He forgot how much money he played for. He just ignored you and starts <laughs> causing vandalism. <laughs> All right, everybody, line up and start shaking hands. <laughs> the the banjo player is just kind of staring at her, and she says, "Uh, I wasn't paid for this. Um, I'm just gonna walk away." Wait, before he walks away, can I, try to pers can I pr try to persuade the other bard to do a performance with me to try to raise gold collectively? Uh, yeah, she's a halfling. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to try, I'd say, yeah, try to roll a persuasion check if you want to see, like, you could get something going at night. Yeah. So I get a plus five. Okay. Okay. Eh, why not? I need a distraction after that. He owed me money and he didn't pay me. He just now he. That's Wait. Okay. Did he just destroy the cotton candy machine? Oh my god. Ah oh, no, not the ice cream. Uh 
Wait, did you just cr <sighs> You notice in the distance, he just, like, takes a bunch of balloons from this clown, and he punches the clown in the face. How did I know <laughs> I could do balloons? It's like, Jesus. and then there's a kid who's like, No, I'm free balloon day! No! <laughs> But yeah, he's he is. Do, do people want to try to distract this molding, uh, this molding? <laughs> or well, can the bar I, bar I, and I work together? To shake hands. Like, is that the bard and I's job? Because I can try to convince the bard to perform with me. You could try to come. Yeah. There's no way to handle a win. I'm low key trying to distance myself, but I'm very interested. Yeah, so so, I hang around. But I so he looks right like. The, you would know because you were right in front of him. He looked pissed off because it looked like he was about to lose and he won anyway. And he was not satisfied. So, what can I do with this other bar to potentially... You can just, like, try to play a soothing lullaby or something. Wait, do I have a skill for this? Hold on. She's just kind of... She suggests, we could try to put him to sleep or something. I don't know. Calm him down with that. Uh... I have uh, would it charming him help at all? Potentially. Or maybe, like, would healing ward heal his saltiness? <laughs> no. I wish it worked that what way. What about less well. restoration? Less I, don't restoration. Have a, I don't have a learn, but... No, I don't think you can... Rest I don't think it's gonna cure, ease his saltiness. Okay. So I can either try to play a performance to convince him to stop, or charm him. Yes. Whichever you want to do. Alternatively, we could attack it. You guys could try to beat him up. <laughs> what if we charm him and try to recruit him into our guild here? Hmm. Do you want to? Do you real? Do you want he looks to really try? Strong. Do you oh, want he to? Does look really strong. Do you guys want to try to recruit Jarbo the Tough? And I'm down. We can try to recruit the bard. I can try to talk to the bard by extension afterwards. No. And then maybe maybe if uh maybe if we calm him down and we can charm him to pay the bard and the bard might see that as a good thing. Right? Okay, so how do you, what do you want to do? Do you want to charm or do you want to play with uh, the bard to try to calm him down? So, here's my idea. Tell me if it's too much or if it's not possible. So, my idea is, what if I try to charm the orc so then after charming the orc, I'd probably have to roll another check, but I could force the orc to pay the bard and then the bard I could ask the bard to join us. Oh. Interesting. So we could try to get more party members, even if it's, you know, because this way it cheers up the bard, because the bard's really upset, so it might be a bit of an advantage, considering if we get the orc not only to pay, but if maybe the bard has some friends. Okay. Yeah, I'd say try to charm a uh, charm person. So how do, I, do I just click on it? So, yeah, click on this... Or, I'm trying to think. So, I have to remember Charm Person. Mm -hmm. Um, so... It's got... Um... I mean, it must wait and do so with advantage if your commands are fighting it. It's... You're not actively fighting it, or fighting yeah. him, so he's gonna roll a Wisdom save. Uh, what is your spell DC? So you'll find your spell DC on the bottom page, or the last page of the PDF. Huh? What is it? Uh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head the formula for spell save DC. Hmm. I think it's, it's your spell casting mod plus proficiency bonus plus eight. eight. Yeah, so what's your spell casting modifier? Plus three? Uh, Probably. let me double check. It is... What would that be under? Um, it would be your charisma. And then proficiency yeah. is plus two. Plus three, and then... Okay. okay. So it's 13 is your save for, for uh, future reference. So, let's see. He fails. So what? he is charmed. No, no, failing is... He fails. So, oh, great. So, you, it, so it succeeds for you, but he fails. Woohoo! So do you now want to uh, convince him to give the money he owes the bard? Yeah. Alright, so 
you walk up to him and how do you want to just just want to ask i just want to be like hey i just want to say that was that was a really awesome spectacle but your guard here did a great job oh yeah oh yeah here, here's your here's your 15 gold yeah i feel like i'm forgetting something yeah he just kind of he walks can away I, can I talk to him before he walks away or you can talk to him before he walks away yeah i also want to ask him if he potentially want to join us uh i don't know about give me a good reason i guess well as you can see there you had a buddy not only who was competent enough to where you can keep doing rematches like that and get your strength up a lot as well as the factor of think about this if you're strengthened that much you're going to be a really useful asset to us mm. and In... a lot of people here would really really appreciate your company I don't know if good money in it too. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. I would say roll a persuasion check, but the DC is going to be high because. So what does that mean? Uh, you. So what's your persuasion? Uh, I think it's. Let me double check. I think it's five. You're gonna need to roll an eighteen or higher to get him to travel with you. Okay. All right. So roll. Yeah, roll. Come on, baby. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, now I have to actually put effort into this NPC. Okay. Um, no, it's the other camera. We need to, we need not to, again. We have to recruit every oh, NPC no. we come across. No. Yo, so can we talk to the bard now? If you want to. Can we ask the bard if they'd like to join us as well? Alright, I'm not going to let you have both of them. But you I can, can you, she can, she can, no, like, so do you want to ask her anyways? Yeah, I want to ask her anyways, and then, like... Oh, um, I kind of fly solo, but I can meet you up in a different town. If our paths travel again, we can play together. That sounds great. I'd love that. My name's, uh, Bell, by the way. Nice to meet you, Bell. I'm Thelonious. You can call me Theo. Oh, nice to meet you, Theo. Thanks for, uh, helping me get, uh, money. Yeah, so... no problem. Alright, so now... You see this guard with an eye patch and a scar on his forehead walk over and he sees all this property damage. And he's looking around, he's like, Who caused this mess? Alright, group, how do we want to go about this? Is this guy with you? And he points to you. I mean, I don't really think you have to worry about it. No, this. Yeah, your problem. All I did was lose to him in a, in a arm wrestling. I heard from that kid he over there. I heard. <laughs> hey, I I heard from that kid over there. He punched a clown. Wait, he's still under charm, right? Yes, Jarbo is. Can I? Um, because he still has his own like equipment and everything, right? Yes. So can I ask him if he could apologize and pay for the damages? Yes, you can. Considering I charmed him and yeah, all that. So he's go. He's gonna say, "Oh yeah, um, I'll I'll pay for the damages." What's it? At? He says, "All right, that's gonna be about a hundred and fifty gold." And he just his eyebrows are just like, mm -hmm, "Okay," and he gives out all the money, and he kind of walks back. Do you want to disable Charm Person? Because he's already kind of agreed to it. If it I don't disable it, is he still okay? Prob yeah, he probably is. He's he looks like he's calm. He looks like he's calmed down. Okay. But you can pro you can tell this guy has a bit of a short fuse and might be a bit of a salt lord. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Party choice. Can I keep him charmed until we leave the plaza? Uh, the duration on Charm Person. Is an hour. How long has passed since? I'm gonna I say about question. twenty minutes. Okay. Um, the longer I keep him charmed, like if I keep him charmed for longer, and then it wears off, does he start to be more hostile? No, like so, he's not necessarily gonna be super hostile, 
but you've kind of convinced him to join. He does. He didn't necessarily know he was charmed either. So. Okay. Yeah, because his wisdom's not that great. Yeah, it's not that great. He failed the wisdom check, so he also wouldn't know that he was charmed person. But he's still, even when he's not charmed, he's still gonna like accompany us and be fine with it. Yes. He won't like try he, to break out. And, as like, far as you know, no. Should we ask him what his eyes all about? He's... If yes, yeah, should we ask him like what all of him is about? Like what's up? You want to know this guy's life story with his small top hat, his curly mustache, and his I robotic eye? I mean, I'm intrigued hat. personally. All right, this all right. Nerd's not gonna realize that there's a new man in the party. All right, all right. So, <laughs> so do you want to ask this orc about his life story? I mean, yeah, especially if we're like starting to like head out and travel there. I mean, you know, we got something need something to pass the time. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna like take a second to say I'm I find it hilarious that you guys recruited the Salt Lord into your party. Yeah, well, we're gonna mold him into a crazy. Crazy guy, man. You know. Wow, I can't believe you found the campaign mascot in the first in the first Dude, session. What's the fun in someone mentally stable? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he kind of goes. So who's specifically asking it? Certified cannon botter. <laughs> All right, so who's gonna ask him about his life story? I'll ask him. I mean, is it? Do we have to roll a check to do that, or just whatever? No, it's like you can just listen to is him. Is he still under charm? He, yeah, he is. He is. I'm just asking who wants to be the person to ask. I'll do it. I I, I did not engage much in the past, uh, you know, debacle yeah, with him, it. so I'll, I'll ask him, you know? Yeah. Go ahead. Alright, so... Hmm. Uh, yes, it started uh, back in the war. In my heyday, I was... Hey, that's how I got my nickname, Jarvo the Tough, but I lost a lot of my prowess after I lost my left eye. And I have this prosthetic robot eye now, but I've been reduced to arm wrestling with people on the streets, being mad about my glory days being passed. Hey, it's time for the Renaissance. Run it back up. Hmm. On the road again? I also went bald, and I couldn't afford a bigger top hat. Well, I mean, if you look at our friend over there, I'd, I'd point to our centaur, you know? Bald doesn't look terrible on, uh, on people. That's fair. He's gotta, gotta get the facial hair. Uh, yeah, I have a pretty good mustache going. Yeah. I'm gonna look at him, and I'm gonna say, if you can't grow it on top, you can at least grow it on the bottom. And if nothing else, you can get some down below. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So, what happens from here? So, do you guys want to look for lodging and take Charbo with you? I mean, yeah. we're all cool with taking him with us, right, guys? Yeah, you just... Oh, it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, another one? No, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. How much uh, gold does Jarbo have on it? Uh, so he had 160, but the property damage took 150, so he only has 10. Okay. <laughs> he literally is like a whole other player now. Awesome. Well, we could just have him arm wrestle some people in like a tavern somewhere. To get a... I should have haggled to see if I could get down the property damage. Oh well. Oh well. Just remember that for next time. Some of you have to eat it. I don't think you can really haggle down property damage, though. <laughs> what do you mean? I could, a, offer my you services, I, I could offer, offer my services in a performance. Too. Oh, you could have oh. done that. Yeah, I could have. Oh, well. I'll keep that in mind next time we run into something like that. Uh, Alright, so uh, do you guys want to look around for a place to stay for the night? Yeah, I, I mean, so. there's nothing else late, to look right? for it. Yeah, it's, I'd say at this point it's around, like, 11. Yeah, let's mm. do it. So, you find a place called uh, the Stink Eye Inn. <laughs> oh no. And you see a guy at the front desk who doesn't look like he showered in a week. 
running into all the Smash players. <laughs> uh, and this this guy is uh, it's uh, a human with uh, with some really messy dress clothes. Yeah, uh, room z. Hello. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we're looking for yeah a room. <laughs> Rooms. Yes. yes. Uh, that will be two gold a person. Sure. Throw Here. two gold on the table. I'm just gonna oh. I'm just gonna sleep on the floor of somebody else's room so I don't. Uh, Mary's gonna kind of like quietly slip out the front door. Is that allowed? But he can yes. Sleep on the floor of another. Okay. I just so, want to be sure I wasn't Yeah, sure no, about. it's like, you never said each person has to get a room. It's two gold per room. Okay. Uh, but there's I'm only one bed per room. I'm on no. the floor. I'll, I'll, I'll buy a bed. bed. On the floor of someone's room. Question, does sleeping on the floor hurt any of us? I'm going to say it's going to... I'm going to say... Hmm. I don't <laughs> think it would... Let's yeah. just say, um, Might not be it probably it's not, you're, you're going to be mildly uncomfortable, but you've probably dealt with worse. Yeah. Merrick's going to prefer the floor. Mm -hmm. How about uh, everybody else? Her. I'm going to buy a bed. You're going to buy a bed? Yeah. Okay. My floor is open uh, for anyone who would like to, uh, join me. Ooh, okay. Not like that. <laughs> I mean, unless <laughs> JK. Oh, um, I'm gonna pay for a room for Jarbo to make it up to him after all that. All right, so yeah, Jarbo looks. Yeah, I'd say it wore off, but Jarbo's like, oh, thank you. Yeah. So on. Yeah. Who does, who does, who does Merrick? Get the fucking room with. You can uh, you can crash on my floor. Yeah, so Merrick he doesn't have to buy his own room. He can just crash on someone's floor. Anyone who's getting their own room just subtract two gold. Yep, I got one for uh, Jarbo. I'm at Jarbo and I. So I just lost four gold, but I wanted to say it as a thanks essentially to him. Oh, so you just gave him a room? Yeah, he I looks, bought his room for him. He looks like. He looks happy. Like no one has given him a kindness in like years. Aw, no problem, Jarbo. Anytime. You're with us now. Oh, thank you. And he just kind of goes to sleep. <laughs> Maybe the unintentional uh, DMPC. Unintentional. <laughs> yeah. I did not. I set the DC that high for a reason. But congratulations, you now have a DMPC. Let go! Please, please, please moderate the NPCs. I'm not going to let you guys get a billion NPCs, though. Mm. Okay, okay. Let's let's be fair right now. What's our limit on NPCs? <laughs> Four thousand. We know when we're recruiting. Two. Yeah, like on max. Two. Max. Two. max. No. Ten. Can we count an animal as not an NPC? An, an, an animal does not count towards the NPC. Okay. What about like a really small like creature? Like a cobalt. Guys, what that, if we get a guy like who can summon something? <laughs> True. <laughs> what if he can summon a guy who summons more things? I'll, I'll change my subclass to Necromancer, so I'll just you summon a bunch of stuff and we can use them. Alright, suddenly the campaign is, takes too long because it's I have to have ten NPCs <laughs> yeah. that converse with each other. Each combat is like three hours long. <laughs> per turn. Each combat is now 20 hours long. Yeah. Can we see um, Jarbo's equipment? Uh, I have to make it up first. Okay, that's If right. I'm being honest. See, he had a long sword with him. Mm -hmm. And a shield. Yeah. And, like, pretty typical armor.